vita. Good day and welcome to Issues and Answers. I am your host for today, Jacques Hingson Compton. Today we're going to be talking about a new mobile application and web application called Travel Jammy. And I'm, with me is Vanessa Julian, the country manager of the company Travel Jammy, Nigel Jones, the application developer, and his business partner, Mr. Wilbert Mason. Welcome everybody to the program. Good morning. Thank you so much, Jacques. So, uh, Ms. Julian, let's start with you. Could you tell us a little bit about the company, Travel Jammy? Tell us a little bit about the history and, and where you're based and all that. All right. So, um, Travel Jammy is a web developing company. Um, they do quite a bit in the industry of, you know, digital applications. Mm -hmm. um, the company itself is, is based in Canada. This is the headquarters. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, I came on board from St. Lucia, Mm -hmm. um, the company has been in business many years. Um, the app developer, Mr. Jones, um, along with his team, um, are the ones basically putting together these exciting technologies. Mm. And Mr. Jones, let's uh, move on to you. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the application, the platform, uh, and its purpose? Mm, Wayne, you can't tell me. Mr. Jones? Hello? Yes. Sir. Oh, can you? Okay, just checking. Can you both hear me? Yes, yes I hear you now. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Right, yes. So um, we were, I was speaking to Ms. Julian about the history of the company. But from you, I wanted to know a little bit about the, the application. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the platform and, wh and what its purpose is? This, uh, this is directed to me? Yes, Mr. Jones. Um, okay, okay, yes. yes. So, pretty much, first of all, the meaning of Jamie. Um, is uh, Swahili for uh, community. And pretty much the platform is about pretty much bringing the Caribbean together as one unit so that we can promote our rich culture to the world. But instead of every country or every island doing it themselves, we think together we can be of, um, it can make more sense and we can be more effective. So Travel Jammy pretty much um, was created to promote the Caribbean, but at extension, it's a global platform. But we will start with the Caribbean. The fact that we all are from the Caribbean, one way or the other, either living there or originally from the Caribbean, we will like to make this work for our Caribbean community. Mm. And Mr. Wilbert Mason, this next question is actually directed at you. Uh, what makes this application different from others that are like it? What makes this different is, the, I think, the vers versatility of um, where you, for example, you have an app, if you're going to, uh, say, for example, Grenada, and you download an app of Grenada, and to, uh, with all of the, the, the activities you're going to do when you get to Grenada, Right? You're only going to use that app when you go to Grenada with Travel Jammy. You can use this app wherever you want to go. Whatever country you're going to go to, you can use this app because there is um, the app is live in all the other Caribbean islands. So it's one of those um, apps I think that will, one, it's versatile in terms of you could use it in different location. Also, two, you have it where um, it's a lot of the, the small businesses, I call it the mom and pop, I call them the businesses that really help to promote authentic tourism aren't 
they don't have a platform to uh, right now. They don't. There is not a platform. Chapel Jammy provides this platform for small businesses to showcase their um, their their products and services at a minimum cost. Uh, I mean, it. I think it's uh, to, for us. We want to revolutionize how small business exists in the Caribbean and give more small business a platform to showcase their product and services. Uh, what what is it just medium to small businesses or do you involve large no, it's it's largest every business i mean it's uh, there's a section of the app called uh, um, the business directory and every if you want a mechanic if you want a, an accountant anything at all you can find in the app it's just like right. having one of those um, telephone directory in the palm of your right. hands but with additional information live information i mean you could just um i say it's not curtailed just for small business all businesses and every single industry you could think about uh this app covers it okay so it's it's not just in um the travel industry it's all sort of no it's all sort of local businesses yes yes um there is a and we were talking earlier about me there is a uh, part of it where if you want to um, find out about, uh, for example, farmers. Mm. Uh, uh, one of my favorite places when I visit St. Lucia is uh, uh, Place Casav. You could find Place Casav on, uh, on the app. So just, just things that I think that uh, we really help to what I call um, create a, uh, what I call authentic experience in the visit and the destination. Uh, mm. This app definitely has that. Okay, uh, this next question, I guess Ms. Julian could answer it. Uh, the businesses that he spoke of, what was the collaborative effort? Like, how did you involve uh, business owners in the country to be a part of the application? Uh, well, of course, yeah, we, you know, got in touch with them, um, sent them the link so that they could, of course, download the app mm -hmm. and have a look at it, um, you know, walk them through the process of how the app works. Of course, the app is very user friendly mm -hmm. um, and very easy to use, uh, very easy to navigate. Um, and it's basically, you know, a tool, a one stop shop tool in your hand. Um, and so, of course, I engage with them, show them how it's, you know, what all, all the benefits, all the features of the app. And, of mm. course, they bought into it and, and, and see the value, mm. you know, of their business being on the app. And you were able to get a wide range of businesses to be actively involved? Uh, yes, yes. Um, those that we are, you know, in, in discussions with right now, mm. very big ones. Um, and, of course, um, restaurants, um, all types of businesses. Mm. Um, as um, Mr. Mason said, you know, the app is, is available and can be um, targeted at every single business, um, hotels, restaurants, um, mm -hmm. auto industries, and, every single one. And what kind of information do you find specifically on the businesses, um, like where they're located? Uh, what, what sort of, what sort of um, information would you get? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you know, um, when you go into the app, depending on what the business is, um, you would first see a photograph, uh, you know, a nice little photo mm. of what the business is. And then when you scroll down, um, you would find more information, you know, the address, contact information, mm -hmm. and um, links to their social media pages mm. and so on. Yeah. Okay. So it's very, very heavily promoting local business. That's, that's good to hear. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are, everyone, we are due for our first break. So please stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment. Welcome back to Issues and Answers. I'm Jacques Kingston-Compton and we're talking about a new mobile application 
our platform, that is Travel Jami. We're speaking with the, the country manager of Travel Jami. We're speaking with the application developer and his business partner. Uh, now, before we left, we discovered that the app really promotes a lot of the local businesses in St. Lucia and the other um, countries that you operate from. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Mason, could you tell us about a little bit more about some of the other countries where you operate from? Yes, we, we currently in, in uh, Jamaica at the moment, uh, in Tanzania, and uh, the, the app is, is very, very popular in Tanzania, especially those companies that deal with the, so the safari tours. Uh, it's well received in, uh, in, uh, in the African countries. Mm -hmm. And there are a few other Caribbean islands we're in discussion right now in terms of um, uh, releasing the app. But it's one of those uh, things where we just want to make sure that we we uh, did it very strategically. So Jamaica, Tanzania, um, in, in Turks and Caicos as well, we start having some uh, discussions. So it's an ongoing uh, process, and uh, we thought St. Louis would be a, a great uh, place uh, with uh, strategically to start from as well in the Caribbean. Hmm. And either Mr. Mason or Mr. Jones could answer this question. What what, re what, could you think back to the beginning, what made you decide to develop this app? Was there, did you see that there was a market for it? Did you see other applications for it? Or, or like it, sorry? Uh, yeah, the impetus behind Travel Jamie is, there are two factors. One, I, um, myself being in a space of developing applications and website and seeing the opportunity, seeing that for such a long time, our story, the Caribbean story, has been told by someone else outside of the Caribbean. And the fact that technology has become such an important part in our lives. Some of us, the first thing that we do in the morning or the last thing we do at night is to pull our cell phone. So the cell phone became like the remote of our lives. So what's best to promote the Caribbean than thinking of producing something like Travel Journey? Um, we understand our community, we understand our culture. So I, we just feel, we just believe that this is the right time for us as Caribbean people to produce a product to tell our own story. And that's pretty much the impetus behind um, Travel Jam. And uh, Mr. Jones, again, could you tell us, could you dive, delve a little more deeply into the, the, a lot of the features, the specific features that are on the application? just so our audience has a better idea of, of how they can use it. Okay, so the application, it's, it's geo-targeted. And pretty much what that means is we can use this application for any country, regardless whether it's in the Caribbean, whether it's in Africa or Asia. The beautiful thing about the application is that it is, we can customize it based on the business needs or the location needs. So if, for example, Trinidad wants to focus on carnival and, and um, let's say, agriculture only, that can be customized for support Trinidad. If Grenada want to focus on tourism and some other sector. So you can choose one location and the interface is completely different to the other. It's very dynamic, but one of the really good, the, the, the good things about Travel Jammy is it does not take up much space, even though it's very comprehensive. You can go on this application and find things that you would not normally even find on Google, because we go deep into the trenches and get these type of information. We are already there with a lot of focus being placed, you know, to be the voice for the voiceless. So the small businesses or the, the, the craftsman in the village who has never been exposed, his business has never been exposed to the, to the, to the world. Mm -hmm. This is an opportunity for him to showcase his craft at a very, very affordable price. And I think what it is more about Travel Jamie that is of great value is the way the business is run, meaning a business uh, individual, the owner of a business, can have a conversation with Will, can have a conversation with myself or Vanessa, you know, just saying, listen, guys, 
I really don't have the money to get onto the platform. Mm -hmm. Can I appoint a payment plan? And we will have that conversation and make it happen. We will not let the financial situation becomes a barrier. Uh, is, it, is it really a case where different countries have different sectors that they, re that they want to focus on? Like, can you give us an example of, say, what um, Trinidad might want to focus on or, or any of the countries that you partner with? Well, so far, a lot of it is tourism. I think everyone that we spoke to so far, the main interest uh, some of, you know, is tourism. But there are other um, sectors. And as William, as Will would have pointed out, Wilbert would have pointed out earlier, is that it's not just about travel and tourism. Mm. You want to get your mechanic shop listed on the application in our business directory. This can be done. You have, uh, uh, you're a small farmer, you want to get your produce out there, whether it's to be advertised locally or internationally, it can be done. We also have what's really, really, really uh, making a, you know, a great impact is we have two websites that we connect to the application for restaurant owners, for example, Regardless of the size of your restaurant, you want to receive orders digitally. We have what you call Jammy Kitchen. If you're a farmer, you want to reach a wider audience. For example, in the Caribbean, CMOS has become a big, a big um, 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 produce that farmers and, uh, and, 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 and uh, CMOS producers are looking for the outside market. We have what you call Jammy Express. So we do offer a lot, and we are working both locally within the Caribbean and the diaspora, because our goal is to really create that uh, bridge between the diaspora and the Caribbean region. Mm. And uh, Ms. Julian, this next question is for you. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about some of the international organizations that you work with? Uh, in terms of? Travel jamming. Yes, in terms of travel jamming. All right. So, I mean, we've had a lot of strategic partnerships. Um, uh, Travel.com, um, a lot of the other, like Travelocity um, mm -hmm. has come on board. Um, mm. Quite a few of the businesses. I know Mr. Jones um, uh, is the one basically working along with them, but we've had quite a few um, of the partnerships that have come on board with us. Okay. international organizations mm. like booking.com for instance mm -hmm. you know they have so, i mean millions of hotel chains that they work with mm -hmm. and of course they have come on board as one of our partners as well so because uh, they've seen the value of the app mm, I see. That's and it's also important to know that though the app is just being launched in st lucia it's already in in 64 000, um countries you know it's 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 already being downloaded um mm -hmm. and being used yeah. Because that, that actually brings me to uh, another question. Do, mm -hmm. you, do you have an idea of how many users in all that the, the application or the website has? Uh, Mr. Jones can give us some more information on that. But yes, we do have quite a bit of users. So that, then that's your question, Mr. Jones. Do you have an idea of how many users that you have? Yes. yes. So, so just, just a little correction um, with the, the statement that Vanessa made. The app actually is in 35 countries, countries and we have had over 64,000 downloads. Yes. Mm, that's good. Good. Um, and you, obviously, you're launching. Have you launched already in St. Lucia or you're uh, about to launch? We have launched. You have launched. We have launched. And why? So why St. Lucia? Uh, because, I mean, St. Lucia is, is an ideal um, island. I mean, we're um, number one for weddings, you know. Um, we're very known throughout the world. Um, almost everyone wants to come to St. Lucia and, mm. and, and experience our island. Um, Mr. Mason has worked in St. Lucia before. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jones, they're both Caribbean men. Mm -hmm. And St. Lucia was one of the islands they, uh, you know, chose to launch. Mm. Now, we're due for our second and final break. So I want everyone to please stay with me and the audience, please stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment. Scrolling, I guess. Yeah. So at least you can see, uh, I don't know how. Yeah, that might. 
they will have to give us access and all that. Yeah, stuff. yeah. So, the way they put in that together, so they, I hope that could be added when we're talking about it. The user video that we have. Yeah. Welcome back to Issues and Answers. I'm your host, Jacques Kingston Compton, and we're talking about the company Travel Jammy and their new mobile application. Uh, yes, so Mr. Nigel, could you just explain, Mr. Jones, sorry. I want you to just explain how the ordinary user can download the app and where they can go to to find this application. So the application is on both iOS platforms and Android. Um, we go to the App Store and to Play Store. And it's a free download for any user. Um, as I would have previously mentioned, it's the space is very um, minimal in terms of the space that it takes up on your phone. Um, but you have a wealth of information you know, available to you, including radio stations, um, videos, live videos, um, I mean, it's a whole lot of information that you will then gain access to after downloading that application. Mm. And, and Mr. Jones as well, I, it's, it's very good to see uh, a West Indian man who is, um, who is adept at, at software development or application development. Do you have... Um, could you talk a little bit about how you got into the field and maybe give some words of encouragement to younger persons who might want to get into that field? Well, <laughs> it's a very um, simple, but yet it's a powerful story, how I got into this. Um, I'm a businessman by, by nature, I, I always say, and I saw the opportunity. I saw where the world was heading in terms of technology. So I decided, my wife and myself decided about seven years ago, how can we best, you know, get into that field? How can we do it? Um, and we decided the best way to is to acquire a company, an existing company, because it's not a one-man show. And our bigger vision was to be one of the leading um, companies um, in this space at least in the Caribbean region, because we want to do a lot for the Caribbean. So we got into the business um, um, of technology, um, I'll say, as I mentioned, maybe about seven years ago. And my advice to the young people, or it doesn't matter what age, if it's something that you're looking to do career-wise, I think it's a wise choice, um, because as we know, everything today, it depends on some online presence. So there will always be an opportunity for the individual to get into, to get employment. I mean, it will be competitive, but if you put yourself out there, most definitely it can, it can work the effort. It is what it will work, work the effort. Mm. Now we're, we're coming very close to the end of the program. So I'm going to, well, approach all of you and ask if there are any final words you have to say. We'll start with uh, Ms. Julian. Anything okay. else that you'd like to uh, add before we leave? Sure. I mean, I'd just like to encourage St. Lucians to, you know, go ahead and download the app. Um, as we said earlier, it really doesn't take up much space on your phone. As a mm -hmm. matter of fact, it takes up like half the amount of space on your phone. Um, you know, download it, check it out. It's a great app and, um, and I'm sure you will see the value in it once you download it. And Mr. Mason, how about yourself? Yes, I, I firmly believe I've been in the, the tour, hospitality space for the past uh, 30 plus years. And I see this is, app as a, a really good way of promoting uh, uh, community tourism and also providing economic empowerment to our people. Uh, they go in the days when every um, businesses, uh, the magazines, and everyone wanted to go in the magazines. Now you can actually be on the app and uh, showcase your business. This, this app is about creating economic empowerment in our communities. Mm. And before I get to Mr. Jones, uh, uh, Mr. Mason, I actually have one more question for you. How do you think uh, this application such as this, or this one specifically, will 
change the travel industry or the tourism sector? Well, for, for one, it, I think it will reduce uh, in terms of um, the space that we pay for, uh, uh, for marketing. Um, you know, you know, get on a plane from Miami or New York and someone gives you a magazine to say, hey, um, this is this is a magazine of St. Lucia. And there are a limited amount of information in that magazine. Now you have an app that basically not just have uh, things that someone would have paid a lot of money to be in a particular magazine, but they also have all of the small businesses that really help to support the um, uh, tourism uh, in the St. Lucia. So I think in, in this is going to change, revolutionize, not revolutionize the um, the way in which we uh, we get information, share information about uh, uh, St. Lucia. I think this is, uh, for example, I mean I love going down to the fish fry and where the the application will help you get to all of these spots, um, contact people. Uh, it's just it's just one of those things I think that make it easier for. Um, for us to share information and not paying a lot of money to get that information out there. Uh, brilliant. Uh, so yes, Mr. Jones, you, the, the final, do you have any final words before we leave? My final words is for people to really take advantage of this opportunity here. Um, it can be a very um, useful tool for the Caribbean community and in this case, particularly for St. Lucia. And uh, one of the key things that I would like to point out is that we are creating some very strategic partnerships and which include organizations from the Caribbean. So like the St. Lucian organizations in Canada and the US, and as what we would have mentioned earlier in terms of bridging that gap between the diaspora and the Caribbean, I think this is the application to really make this happen. And as a Caribbean community, I think this is our opportunity that we can pretty much promote each other and come together and help in the process as one unit, and this can be very successful. Okay, thank you for that. And again, I want to thank you all for joining me on the program. It was a pleasure to talk to everyone. I hope you can come again soon because this is, this is definitely a company that St. Lucians need to look out for and a mobile app that I hope you, that everyone uses as much as possible. You're watching Issues and Answers, a production of the Government Information Service. Please stay tuned to this and other programming. Thank you very much.